Hello, my friends and my fellow Harmonauts. Today, we're going to do something a little different. I want to do a quick walkthrough, a quick tutorial, looking at the various different links in the chain uh, that SushiSwap is giving us into the DeFi universe. But more important than, than those specific links, I want to show on the Explorer, on our new version to explore, how you can verify these transactions. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my browser here. And as you can see, I drop right into SushiSwap. Now, I want to make sure that I have my MetaMask wallet connected, and there it is right there, that I've funded that MetaMask with a little bit of one to be able to fund this particular journey. Now, I want to make sure I receive the best return on this investment that I can. So I'm going to take a look at this farm, and I see that I have 192% APR in this particular farming pool. So I'm going to contribute to that farming pool. But first I need to get that wrapped one and that BUSD. So I come over to my swap. I'm gonna use, let's say 200 of my native one tokens and I'm gonna get wrapped one. I'm gonna confirm that request. It's pending. It's gonna show off the speed of the Harmony network and that's done. And now I also wanna get the same equivalent amount of BUSD. And that will be 16, almost 17 BUSD. So I swap, I confirm the swap, add my BUSD to my MetaMask, and it's done before I even finish the full transaction. So now let's add those wrapped ones and that BUSD to a liquidity pool. We're gonna go ahead and click to add the liquidity. We're going to put in wrapped one, and we're gonna put in BUSD. We're going to use the maximum amount of BUSD that I have and confirm adding that liquidity. And that transaction is pending. It's finished. And now that we have a position here, it shows that we have our wrapped one and our BUSD into the liquidity pools and that we've generated 55 pool tokens off of that deposit, locking those into the liquidity pools. So now I want to take those 55 liquidity pool tokens and I want to farm them. So I go back to my farm and I stake all of those liquidity pool tokens. Confirm that. Head up here, we'll see how it's pending just for a moment. And now it's done. My wallet balance is zero. And I have now staked 461 tokens. The reason is, is because I've done this video several times. And for one reason or another, I have screwed up at a given point. Uh, now, one other thing I want to pay attention to right here is, do you notice this button down here that talks about the harvest? The harvest is valuable because that is the rewards that are generating from staking my liquidity pool tokens. It generates 107 sushi per day or 12,238 one per day. And I can harvest those at any given time. Let's let those accumulate for a minute while we head over to the blockchain explorer and see if we can figure out what these transactions were. Now, this is the front page to our new blockchain explorer. I want to make sure that I will look at my wallet address. So I'm going to copy that from my MetaMask and I'm going to put it in here in the search field. It brings up my wallet, which is great. And it shows a handful of transactions. As you can see, the 201 for the wrapped tokens, this other 200 are for the BUSD that come from that particular liquidity pool mining. Now let's dig into this just a bit and take a look here about what is happening at this particular place. Now we can see that it's coming from my wallet, the 56F39, and it's going into this wallet, the 67DAF. And the value here is some little bit of wrapped one, 0.3, and then 55 of these SLPs, these Sushi Liquid Pool tokens. If you remember, 55 was the amount that I staked. So this is me staking my LP tokens into the Sushi Swap farming pool. That's pretty cool. Like I know what's done and I can see that there is success. Now let's head back to my wallet and see what else we can determine from these transactions. 
if we take uh, a look here about how I got the wrapped one. So this is really straightforward. It's from my wallet, the 56F39, to the wrapped one wallet, and it's a value of 201. We just wrapped 200 ones. Very straightforward. Let's head back to my wallet just for a second and see if there's anything else that we may want to take a look at. Just add liquidity. I don't think we've taken a look at that one yet. So let's take a look at that transaction. So this transaction, there are a handful of token transfers. Remember the 56F39, that's me. So this is 199 wrapped one and 16.99 BUSD. Oh, that's what we added to the liquidity pool. That's nice. And then we had this SLP that was used, it looks like, to, to pay for a transaction where we had 55.33 SLP that were minted and sent into my wallet. That's pretty nifty. I can now see the full operation of what happened. Let's go back here to our farm and harvest these rewards for staking my LPs. The harvest is pending and now it's done. So now let's take a look back at the block explorer. Let's bring up my wallet and let's see what has happened. Let's see if this is up to date. Hey, look, there they are. So as you can see, the destination here for both of those was my wallet, the 56F39. And it was the 0 0.02 wrapped ones and the 0 0.0171 one sushis that I received for farming, for staking my liquidity pool tokens in that farm. And there you have it. So that is a very quick run through again of all those various different uh, blocks and chains of what we experienced in the DeFi there on SushiSwap. You saw many things. You saw all of the options that Sushi could give you, which were all amazing, as well as the speed that the Harmony network is able to provide. Finally, you were able to see all the transparency that exists by being able to use our new Block Explorer to look at those various transactions. My name is Samuel Harrison with Harmony. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope this helped.